Tony Al Luna is caring for two young chicks. But they're not hers. The story starts in January, when the Tony Owls are looking for possible nest sites to raise their young. They're soon over at Beach Stump. The pair had nested here before, and over winter I made some changes to the nest box to make it even better for them. The male bomber eventually enters. He spots a bit of food I left out. But then here's a noise outside. It's Gilfie, a barn owl, and she wants to look too. Bomber has no choice but to fight. The female tawny owl, Luna, hears the commotion and lands outside. It's a ferocious flurry of feathers and talons, and in the chaos, Bomber escapes. Gilfie isn't far behind. Now it's Luna's turn to take a look inside. She seems a bit confused by the changes. It's completely different from last year. But Luna's connection with this nest goes back a long way. Back in 2017, Luna was brought in as a rescued owlet and adopted by a surrogate mother in this very spot. Despite her puzzled expression, she seems impressed with my work and starts to nest scrape. Tawny owls make their nests in hollow trees and this scrape will be a safe place to lay her eggs. As she leaves, she calls to her mate. When she takes flight, he's quickly in too. Even male toenails have a go at nest scraping. After this, it's not long before Luna is spending her days here. She's scraping again. Making home improvements. Houston inside. She's clearly comfortable here. By mid-March, Luna seems ready. She enters the nest at speed and settles into her nest grade. Overnight, she's breathing heavily, a short sign she's trying to lay. And in the early hours, her first egg is revealed. It's great to get a better view of the egg as Luna stands to scratch. Later on, she hears noises outside the nest. And heads out to investigate. 
leaving the egg unguarded. Ban Al Finn arrives. He's still looking for a nest site. He seems amazed to find an egg and gently taps it with his beak. After a brief look at my cameras, he satisfied his curiosity. Luna returns. And once inside, she seems keen to check her egg is safe. Crisis averted, for now. In the morning, a jackdaw lands on the branch outside. Despite the noise, Luna doesn't react. But next door, in the ash stump nest, the female kestrel, Mrs. Kez, isn't pleased by the jackdaw's presence. As she takes to the wing, the jackdaw scarpers, and the kestrel lands at Luna's nest. She seems surprised to find a tawny owl inside, and soon takes flight. Despite the commotion, Luna keeps her cool. Tawny owls lay eggs every two to three days. And even with disturbance from jackdaws outside, 64 hours later, she's laid her second egg. And then a third, 64 hours after. Clutch of three is now complete. Tony owls incubate their eggs for approximately 30 days. Luna broods the clutch by day. And at night. Bomber drops in with regular food deliveries. But a month later, in spite of Luna's constant brooding, there's no sign of hatching. And as the days roll on, I'm starting to think the eggs might not hatch at all. To make matters worse, the jackdaws have returned. This time, starting to bring nested material into the entrance. The jackdaws work fast. Within hours, the nest entrance is full of sticks. And Luna is trapped inside. Meanwhile, a farmer calls about two owl chicks found on the ground. At the base of a straw stack are two tawny owlets. They've fallen from where they were nesting in the bales above. But here on the ground, they're vulnerable to predators. Without warmth and food, these young chicks could perish in a matter of hours. There's no choice but to rescue them. Back at base, the chicks are fed. The chicks are feeding well and they're looking warm and healthy. And I've got a plan. We've got Luna whose eggs have failed. And these two chicks that have been separated from the parents. Luna's still preparing for those eggs to hatch. So she's full of maternal hormones. I think she could be the perfect foster mother. 
I'll just have to keep these two in overnight. And keep a close eye on Luna too. In the morning, the tawny owl chicks are looking really well. After another good meal, I think they're ready to get back into the wild. Meanwhile in the nest, Luna is still trapped. If I don't remove those sticks, she will die. To prevent her hurting herself, the back of the nest is removed to give her an easy escape. And now she's gone, the nest can be cleared. It's not a decision I take lightly. The nest is ready and the chicks are gently placed inside. Along with a few mice to help Luna feed them. So the owlets are in the nest and just listen to them calling. I've just got to watch and wait now and hope Luna accepts them. There's actually a jackdaw that's just landed on the nest entrance. Now this might work to our advantage and encourage Luna to come back. Our Luna is back and she's chasing the jackdaw away. I wonder what she's going to think when she actually goes in that nest and sees the chicks. Here she comes, she's coming straight in. And look at that, she's brooding them straight away. This is absolutely incredible. It's amazing to see how she's taken one as her own. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. In the next film, watch as the chicks thrive under Luna's care. And get ready for life beyond the nest. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.